Hi, let ma Suzette and Sezams of the Daigdig. <laughs> I'm Sean, and today we'll be reviewing differentiability. Yay! Okay, so before we proceed to the first problem, ulit, pajulit-julit man, pero <laughs> i-remind ko lang kayo na kapag may hindi kayo naiintindihan, pwede kayo mag-pause ng video for a while. Or if you're planning to solve first the problem, before I fully discuss the solution, pwede nyo rin kayong mag-pause ng video for a while. Okay? Sige. And, ayun nga. <laughs> Ito na talaga. Before pa rin talaga mag-proceed to the first problem, no, mag-recall muna tayo ng very important concept na natutuha natin from Math 21. No? So, in Math 21, we have known that The differentiability of a function oops, implies continuity of the function itself. So, kung meron kang function na f at ito ay differentiable, ibig sabihin, f is also continuous. Okay, now let's take the contrapositive of this statement. So, if you have a discontinuous function f, It also implies that the function f is not differentiable. Okay? So, it's a very important concept na mga gamit natin na maya. Now, let's go to the first item. <laughs> For the first item, let's consider the function f. Well, in particular, it's a piecewise function given these conditions. So, if x, y is equal to the origin, the value of f is 1. And if x, y is not equal to 0, 0, we have to consider this expression. So here we are asked to determine the value of f sub x of 0, 0 and f sub y of 0, 0 if they exist. And next we are asked to show that f is not differentiable at 0, 0. Okay. So for the first one, we have f sub x of 0, 0 equal to the limit of this expression as x approaches 0. Okay, as you can see, no, you have your x. Tapos dito, wala naman. Pinalitan na mismo yung x. Tapos sa denominator naman, nandito yung x. Wala lang. I mean, mnemonix ko siya dati. <laughs> so, sige, let's continue computing this one. So, it is equal to... The limit of x cube over x cube minus 1 all over x as x approaches 0, which is also equal to the limit of 0 over x as x approaches 0, which is just equal to, of course, 0. So it exists, no? Now, let's solve for f sub y of 0, 0. Okay, sige. So using the mnemonics here, subukan natin isulat yung formula ng hindi mo na tinitignan yung mismong solution. So, you have here f sub y of 0, 0 which is equal to the limit of f of ano na to? 0y na to dapat. 0y. Kasi yung y naman yung dapat present sa minuend natin. Okay? So, same thing lang sa subtrahend natin. It will be 0, 0. F of 0, 0, rather. All over y minus 0. As y approaches 0. Okay? Sige, let's check if the same. <laughs> check natin. Sana pareho. <laughs> okay, pareho nga. So, you have it here. No? F of 0y minus f of 0, 0 all over y minus 0 as y approaches 0. So, so this is equal to the limit of 8y to the 6th all over 8, y to the 6th minus 1, all over y minus 0 as y approaches 0, which is equal to limit of 0 over y as y approaches 0. At the same time, it is also equal to 
So from here, you've seen that the values of f sub x and f sub y exist. Now we are asked to show that the f is not differentiable at 0, 0. So let's consider the curves given by the x-axis, uh, y equals 0, and the curve given by x equals y squared. As you can see, these two curves contain the point 0, 0. Then, as we get the limit of the expression given by this fraction, as x, y approaches the origin along the first curve, we have the limit of x cube over x cube as x approaches 0, which is also equal to 1. However, if we get the limit of the same expression as x, y approaches the origin along the second curve, we will be having this thing, which is also equal to the limit of 27y to the 6th over 9y to the 6th as y approaches 0. And as we simplify it further, it is just equal to 3. And you've now just seen that 1 is not equal to 3. no? So yung limits along the two curves are not equal. Ibig sabihin lang yan, yung limit ng f as x, y approaches the origin does not exist. That means that f is not continuous at 0, 0. Kasi nga, yung limit hindi nag exist So as we have recalled earlier, if you have a discontinuous function, that just further implies that f is not differentiable at the given point, 0, 0. So ayan, napakita na natin na f is not differentiable. For the second problem, we have to consider function g, which is again piecewise with the conditions given by these. Okay? So kung ang x, y mo ay equal to 0, 0, g is equal to 0, tapos kapag hindi naman siya equal, we have to consider this expression. Okay? Now we are also asked to determine g sub x of 0, 0 and g sub y 0, 0 if they exist. And again, we have to show that g is not differentiable at 0, 0. Okay, so similar techniques sa uh, previous item. We have this thing. So I hope master nyo na yung equality na to. And it's just equal to the limit of 0 over x raised to 6 minus 0 all over x as x approaches 0. Then equal siya sa limit of 0 over x as x approaches 0. So ibig sabihin, g sub x of 0, 0 is just equal to 0. Next, we have here this thing for g sub y naman. So by further simplifications, you will be able to get the limit of 0 over 3y squared minus 0 all over y as y approaches 0, which is equal to the limit of 0 over y as y approaches 0. And again, it's just equal to 0. So both g sub x and g sub y are equal to 0. Now we show that g is not differentiable at 0, 0. So we have to consider naman this time yung curves c1 na uh, x axis ulit, y equals 0. And the second curve, we have y equals x cubed. Okay? Take note that these two curves, again, contain the point 0, 0. Okay? Mahalaga tong concept na to, no? Dapat, makontain ng two curves yung point na ina-approach ng x, y. Okay? So, computing the limit along C1, you must be able to get limit of 0 over x raised to 6 as x approaches 0, which is just equal to 0. And along the second curve naman, equal siya sa limit of 2x raised to 6 all over 4x raised to 6 as x approaches 0, which is not equal to 0. No? Kasi it's equal to 1 half. So, since... The limits along the two curves are distinct, no? Well, it's clear that 0 is not equal to 1 half naman. The limit of g as x, y approaches the origin does not exist, okay? So, kung meron tayong non-existing na limit, that just implies that g is, is ano? It's, correct, it's discontinuous at 0, 0. 
So ano ulit ang meron kapag meron tayong discontinuous na function at a certain point? Well, yun. It just further implies that the function is not differentiable at the certain point. So, G is not differentiable at the origin. Okay? Till the next video! Thank you!